all, this is John Fowl 92 and welcome to the bakery server. Uh, mm Donuts, um, who runs this server, and uh, our MHC friend, B Black Belt Crafter, um, invited me to join um, their server. Um, there's a few other players on, which I'm sure we'll meet in future episodes, but um, I got a tour from uh, this morning from Black Belt, and uh, took me all over, and then I just got started here, so I uh, was off at Spawn, which is south, about 500 blocks or so, and been looking around, and I think I like this area. I've always been a fan of the Dark Oak Forest, and I love the idea of um, setting up a base, you know, with this clearing in the middle of the, in the, middle of the Dark Oak Forest. Uh, kind of our own little kingdom here, um, and then we can build paths, you know, safe safe passages through this very dangerous forest, um, and, uh, you know, leave it, we'll see, we'll leave it, <laughs> whether we leave it uh, to generate lots of spawns or, or light it up, we'll, or do whatever, uh, we'll see what happens. I uh, am very... Uh, haven't died yet on the server, just started literally today. Um, so yeah, Black Belt's on with me right now. And um, uh, I'll get a starter base going here and uh, bring you back. Um, actually, I'll show you the server tour that Black Belt took me on a little bit. Um, and then maybe before this episode's oh, this first episode on the server, I will bring you back here and show you if I've made a little progress on uh, kind of building a starter base here. I hope you enjoy. Much has been done here at Spawn Spawn. This big cake is the double iron farms. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, and it produces way more iron than we can ever need. So <laughs> All the poppies I'll need. <laughs> and that too, yeah. Yeah. And then the way in to get to the storage room. Uh, hold on one second. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the problems of letting kids okay. use the computers is they turn all the controls. They love auto ah. and things like that. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. If you just oh, oh. turn this iron ingot. Got it. Seven times, it'll activate the door. That'll take you in. If you accidentally, if like when I do it, and I'm going to be here in a bunch and I don't want to mobs. If I hit it um, two more, it'll close the door. Yep. And, and then, then to get out, you just hit that, the one wooden button and it'll let you out. And the other stuff is... Okay. And, uh, all the poppies. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Left side is iron, right side is poppies. So feel free to take all you can handle. Right. So useless on the left and useful on the right. Got it. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I just cleaned it out, but all the all the chests were full again. So we overflow. So definitely right. feel free to take all the iron you want, build an all iron. Then over this way is the only other spawn building, which the is little red the schoolhouse. Schoolhouse. I saw you building yeah. this yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's some books in the chest there. Again, my, you know, the way I do it is, is anything that I put in a chest that you could use, feel free to grab. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah. Um, if there's anything that I want to keep for myself, it'll be in an ender chest. Um, then here is the nether portal, which will be the easiest way to get around everywhere. Okay. Um, and keep in mind that while this is a really nice nether hub that Donuts built, it is not spawn proof. So you may encounter gas when you come in. So be careful. Yes. Be ready this to. It is very nice, by the way. Yes. Wow. Yeah. He did a really good job. This is cool. And then. I do not want to be the person who destroys this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and all the pathways here to the different tunnels have different colored banners. Okay. Um, to make it kind of easier to give directions to or get... to come through. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yellow, um, green, blue, I got it. Red. Yeah. 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 And then, so there's the, the cardinal direction ones, and then there's the, you know, the off ones here. In so the like corners. the orange has yeah. its own and everything. Yeah. Wow. So it's still, you know, very much being built. Um, and then what I did kind of in the four corners, I made a mini biome in each. So this has a, you know, the Mushroom Island one. Oh, wow, yeah. A snow biome. And then <laughs> even if we did go the up around. 
Yeah, yeah. Nice. Try to custom make it. It probably needs a little work, but it's it's enough for now. In the igloo, I've got a, a, a snow golem trap. So if you want um, snow for anything, you can farm it there. Yep. And then the backside here has a taiga biome, and then the one over here in the corner is kind of a model of an extreme hill. So I've got my llamas over there. Nice. And if you want llamas for anything, I'd suggest come over here, breed them here, and, and take them because the, uh, yeah, the closest extreme hills that we could spawn them in is uh, quite a bit away. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> You'd explored all the extreme hills close by already. Yeah, yeah, by spawn. Um, and then down in here, for now, is the way to get into the monument, this door here. And then here's the big kind of fishbowl. They drop in through the lava, get killed. And then an Ellen item elevator elevates them into an automated storage system. That's a lot of chests. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, That's a lot of see. chests. Yeah. And, wow. Oh, not the ender. So the... Uh, yeah, don't take those, though. Those are okay. uncooked because 111, oh. they now come out cooked. Oh. So if you come over to these chests, I've actually got the cooked ones here until I cook them all up and change the sorter. Holy cow. Yeah, so I would take um, take a couple stacks of ender pearls here. And then in the chest to the left of it is the miscellaneous ones. And you should find some cooked fish throughout those chests. Awesome. Thank you. Definitely. And please, again, take all you can want. <laughs> I will. I'll take some fish. That's great. Yeah, good. Um, Yummy. <laughs> and then if we, yeah, if we go up, delicious fish. And zigzag. So this first section here is just the the guardian farm part. And then if you saw the video, you'll kind of see what we have up here. I just why well, yeah I hadn't seen the whole yeah. thing yet but uh. Yeah. I was trying to so watch it's, I mean, work at the same time yesterday. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just got some farms. These farms all feed directly into the auto storage down below. Oh, cool. Um, so the sugar cane. Now, and these will probably replace now that we got observer blocks when I get a chance. Um, they'll probably be replaced with more efficient. Um, and Reptitiously has done an crazy and good job with this witch farm over here. And he helped get rid of some of the... Uh, Prismarine forming. <laughs> oh, I think you should get some more diamonds for your teammates, yes. Always more diamond for the teammates. There and then this, he has this way up with a slime block elevator. Okay. Um, if you want. I don't know if he's elevatoring. I don't think he's got an elevator to bring the drops up yet. So we'll just um, go down the old-fashioned way, I guess. Oh, dang. He's done a lot of work here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can even watch the witches. Bye. <laughs> yeah. So I like the, I like the design. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, what is this over here? What are you guys? I do not open. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> I went. Oh, I went oh, over went here. Way. I just saw a chest with hopper lines and thought maybe. He, this like must be where he's going to going put them. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks like a future. Not active yet. <laughs> not yeah. present. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, so oh. somewhere... Oh, so you can actually actually see over here the witch's hat. That's where the witches actually are. Got it. Where the hut was. And then you see the torch there on top of that cobble yeah. or the stone stack. If you go down there, it'll take you into the storage. Got it. There just must not be a way to get there from here, from right, here right now. Now. Yeah. Um, so that's the witch farm again, and he's got tons of all the witch drops there. So, any of those type things you need. Good. And then we actually want to come. Okay, so actually, I don't know what your render distance is, um, but if you see that lighthouse oh, over oh there, yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm okay. That's, that's very much inside my render distance. Thank okay, you. good. Yeah. that's the where the skeleton farm is. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so we'll that's head that, that way. So that's that one you found early in the series, right? Like. Yes. Yeah, and then think, think Ninja Crafter the built a yeah Ninja Crafter built a lighthouse on top of it. Cool. Um, yeah. So here's the kind of the the area where I started. Yep. So there's the big tent. There is a big smelter underneath. 
Um, that purple tent back up by the portal we came through does have a full enchantment set up. Um, I killed this cow farm because the translocation thing was fixed, so that's no longer a cow farm. It's just a big building with a couple villagers. Okay. Um, the little sandstone building up there has a villager in it that has mending books and fortune three. Kind of a useful villager. Yes. Um, <laughs> And I think the only other thing I have is I do have a, a, a mining beacon set up over here. Okay. Um, so if you want to do some strip mining, you could definitely do it there. Excellent. Um, I think, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got here. Where's the sun? Okay, we're doing all right. Um, what we can do is go over this way. Aww. And I'll show you where Ninja Crafter's base is. <laughs> And then we've got the skeleton and the zombie grinders over here. There's some sheep here if you do need either white or blue wool. And I think he's got some red and something over here. Yeah, he's got some red sheep down there if you need. That was a lot of red wool to build a lighthouse. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and this is his base. It's kind of like a house thing. There's not really anything going on in it. Um, that, like castle tower kind of thing over yep. there is a zombie grinder okay cool if you want flesh for anything um that's got a skeleton grinder so there is a ton of like um bows Razors arrows armors somebody took all of the the bones out because he needs it for his uh, end build i won't say any names but it was probably me understood <laughs> yeah. um but it, it's pretty efficient so if you do need bones for stuff you can get it pretty quickly and then this little pathway here will take us over to Reptitiously's area, which is really the place to go if you want to do trading, because he built the whole villager trading thing. Whoa, look out, creeper. Oh. oh, fine, we'll fix that later. It'll give me something to do later. <laughs> and then we'll kind of climb up the top here to this area. And yeah, here's his area. Um, so in here, these tunnels, he kind of has like storage and stuff like that. Okay. But all the fun stuff occurs around this way. So he's got an infinite village breeder here. Yep. Recognize that. <laughs> yeah, which will then pop them over here. Yep. And then if we go through here through his piston door, he's putting cake everywhere. Yeah. Um, you will have all the different <coughs> kind of villagers you could ever need to trade with. Fantastic. And then the little trick is back here where it looks like there's a wall, if you throw, I just gotta find the right spot. That's not it, maybe it's here. Yeah, so it's this block here will open up this back room that has some of the newer trades. So like the mending guy and frost walkers are back here. Got it. Which takes us out to his jungle base. Way cool. Yes. Yeah. And then I I'm just, just gonna starting go. to build some farms. He said underground over there yesterday. I was watching that video. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a bunch of mini-ish farms, you know, here in the tree. But yeah, yeah he wanted some bigger ones. I'm just going to raid his chest because I forgot to grab extra food. Does he have well, I have a stack food? here if you want. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I got. I like to take stuff from him because then he wonders where it goes. Oh, okay. There. Well, there you there, go. I'll take half his pumpkin pie. Oh, perfect. Um, so yeah, this is kind of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is, yeah, his base area. It's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, no, it's very well done. Um, so I think that's, he does have somewhere around the jungle here is a flower, a flower, flower forest, forest yeah. if you need colors. There is one, there's another one if you go past, um, my tent base area. Okay. Um, that's out that direction. That's a little bit closer than coming way out here unless you're already out here. Um, but I think... Yeah. All right. 
So I think I've shown you everything. And, you know, there's probably a 3% chance of remembering where it all is. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I won't remember. I'll remember that yeah. this all exists somehow yeah. in one part of my mind. But um, So do you have any uh, suggestions, you know, for uh, initial base location that you'd love, like me to try? Or do you should I just totally up to you um you know it's it's very much a you know find something you like um if there's a particular oh look he still has the skeleton horses there um if there's a particular biome you like i mean i would definitely go for you know what you want to build and what you like so i hope you enjoyed the tour i really want to thank uh, black belt crafter for showing me around and especially mm, donuts um for uh, running this server and uh, allowing me to join. That was his base there at the end that you saw in the trees in the jungle. Um, I highly encourage you to go check out both their channels, um, Black Belt Crafter and Mmm Donuts. Uh, it's three or I guess it's four M's and then Donuts on uh, on YouTube. Um, you'll put I'll put links to both their channels um, down below as well. But uh, this was my area I showed from the beginning of the video um, where I got my little starter base off uh, and running. So as you can see, I found some diamonds and uh, set up an enchanting area and uh, done a little bit of trading with villagers and things. But um, this is what I've done so far. Uh, built a couple houses to get started. Um, these are uh, versions of starter houses that Corrales designed. Um, love his build styles. Uh, felt like his style felt uh, feels really right in this area and um, since he had these like starter house designs I thought it would always be cool to, to do you know a village out of this so right now I have two of these houses in here I'd like to fill it up with I don't know probably a dozen or so maybe houses um, in this area um, again the witch uh, farm is like right over there and then spawns beyond it so maybe make a path out this way out to the uh, swamp or the water that goes into the swamp uh, there's an ocean there and uh, on the other side of the witch farm it's close to Sir Reptitiously's base um, which is where all those great villagers were so make some paths in the overworld um, I already kind of set up my nether portal and stuff here I'm gonna build something around that to make it appropriate uh, maybe move it slightly but um, yeah, it's been a great start. I've been real busy at work, but hope to be on the bakery server and get to building even more over the next couple weeks. So um, look for some updates here on my channel and uh, love to do some collaboration also with uh, with Black Belt and Donuts and Reptitiously and hopefully you'll uh, see their stuff here too. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see my enchanting table through, through the window there. Um, all right, well, see you next time. Um, thanks again, and welcome to the bakery server.